Hello, housemates. This is your weekly update. Um, I'm Lulu I Love, <laughs> of course. And um, I'm just going to uh, go over a couple of updates here, and then we're going to go into your weekly message. All right. Of course, uh, some of you are familiar with the 90-day uh, journal, journal, 90 day journey to mindfulness uh, journal that I released on last week. And um, it's really the beta version. Um, there's some typos. There's a number of things that may, you know, be off about it. But um, if you look in this email, I did record an audio file to try and uh, get more clarity, get people to um, the people who purchased it so that they will understand kind of where I'm coming from with it. Because in, in an effort to keep it simple, I end up complicating the shit. Not for others, it's mostly for myself when trying to explain it. Because I just felt like I was self-explanatory here and there. But um, at any rate, thank you for those of you who have purchased it and are um, interested in becoming more mindful. It's a constant um, process, I guess. Um, sometimes we have to remind ourselves to be more mindful. We have to remind ourselves to detach from certain things, um, to be more aware of our surroundings, be more aware of our conversations, a number of things, you know, but, um, I did do a real quick, uh, brief video, uh, audio file on that. Also the EO to IY blends were mailed out this morning. Um, there's a difference in the, um, the last batch that I made with this batch. This was done with the Libra new moon and it's also done with, um, rose, um, petals instead of rose buds this time. I also, um, sent out the shut up and kiss me oil. It's a beta run. This is the month for betas. Okay. After Thanksgiving, I'm pretty sure a lot of things will go live and be, you know, we will have, um, I will have received the feedback, you know, to grow, um, to help things um, mature because right now everything is in its infancy stage and I'm trying to keep from um, doing too many things um, in an effort to remain consistent as possible. Like with these videos, this is a start for me. I really like flying by the seat of my pants. I do. Whatever. Um, and I'll, I'll also have in this email the ingredients of this Shut Up and Kiss Me and the, the uses, uh, the things that you can use it for, like your candle magic or just um, wearing it with intent. All right, let's get into y'all weekly message. Because that's what you came for. All right. As if I don't know, I already got enough going on. <laughs> I just like staying busy. Oh, guess what, y'all? I had a date. And not just any date, okay? There's a difference when uh, dating people who are so trapped in the material world that all they talk about is material shit. Who got time for that? It was a nice, wholesome conversation I had with this person. I'm not saying it's going anywhere or anything like that, of course. I'm a Libra. We be raw romantic and shit, but I'm not because I know that I have. I was on the date and, you know, in the back of my mind, you know, I was thinking about um, what it is that I needed to do here. So um, at any rate, um, it was a nice date. Okay. Look, she getting back on the scene. <laughs> I will run. Whatever. All right. Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful housemates for this week? Oh. Okay. Thank you, darling. All right. There should be a lot of positive energy, a lot of positive movement coming in for many of you. Some of you may even be relocating or looking into uh, relocating. But at the end of the day, I just feel like this will be a very good week for you. Okay. It's right here. This will be a very good week for you. Some of you may even um, have just started a new job. So that's also beautiful. Here. Now, I am seeing where sometime or another in the middle of this week, it's going to be very important for you to take time out to really care for yourself, really put you at the forefront because this helps you to help others. So it's very important that you take the necessary uh, steps to just relax, take a day to some time with yourself, which is very important, as we all know. 
Many of you have been praying for the uh, praying for certain answers, um, being very hopeful in uh, the outcome of certain situations. You may be unclear on what it's going to take to get you from point A to point B, but they're saying that the details are being worked out. Follow the nudges of spirit. Follow your intuition. Um, they're also saying here just relax in the moment. Yes, because it's very important for you to um, listen to the, the, the way that they are communicating with you to help you understand the process in, um, in which you will um, travel, how you will go move forward on your um, on your path. So you're being led. It's on you because we're free will individuals on how we move forward. There may be people uh, this week asking you for certain favors. There may be people um, who um, may want more of your time than you can allow them. And instead of, you know, sometimes you can get to a space where you feel as though, you know, obligated. But are you obligated is what you're going to need to ask yourself. No. You know, when people ask us stuff, they need to know that it's either a yes or a no. It's a multiple choice answer. It's more yes, no, maybe. Think about it, right? But they're saying here that it's important for you to know that as long as you come from a loving place, releasing judgments of yourself and others, being very compassionate, but telling folks no is okay. You know how to be you know how to say no in a powerful way. So moving into this, some of you may even have someone who wants to uh, move with you. Someone may even want to um forge in to your life this week because they're on the outside looking in right every you know it's it, it goes along the lines of when i tell people that i'm not doing nothing you're like oh what you doing today I ain't doing nothing <clears throat> oh well um how about no because nothing is something so it just feels like it's on the um in the in the in alignment with um all these things moving positively for you. A lot of things you are getting out of the way. You're doing a number of things, and there may be certain people, one person in particular, who um wants to invade um your space, invade your happiness. Because I do see where someone may be moving in with uh some of you this week or needing a place to stay or rest their head for a second here. They may be um in between places so that may be um, something that you will have to face this week it also feels as though there may be an issue with um someone in your family someone very close to you um who may find out that they're pregnant they may even come to a space of um some of you may even Find out that your spouse has a child outside of the relationship, um, but it just feels as though the child was is not was not known. Like they didn't know that this child, like if if you're dealing with a guy, they didn't know that you know this child was theirs. It just came out of nowhere. You know, all of a sudden, you know, DNA child support papers in the mailbox. Like who the hell, right? So that may be an issue, but overall, anyone that you may have an issue with in your family that you may need um, some angelic uh, support here, they're saying here it's important for you to detach from yourself and see the other person's point of view. It's important for you to um, see things from a very compassionate place. It's maybe a teenager as well, but at the end of the day, I'm also seeing where some of you may even be asked to be like a healthcare provider to someone in your family, like um, a home health aide or something of that sort. Okay. So moving forward, I'm seeing that there may be new romance or reignited passion in your life in this week. It is very important for you to um, be open to giving and receiving love. Um, the self-love is very important for us here at the House of Oshun because the way that we feel, the way that we love ourselves, it, it is reflected outside of us. Sometimes um, what I've noticed is if we can't identify with the way that someone treats us, like why the hell, it could be some karmic cleanup that needs to take place. And that's um, one of the ways that I learned how to clean up a lot of my karma because there was a lot of it. 
you know? And a lot of times I had to face who I was and who I didn't want to be anymore. I had to face that with other people to have a clear view of this is what I look like. This is how I sound. This is what it, I did, you know? And, and really be open, allowing, and accepting of that um, and not want to um, cause any, you know, repetitious karma by... Okay, I did that. And then, you know, just genuinely apologizing to yourself and those that it happened to, whether you can do it to them um, in a uh, face-to-face, over the phone, email, any type of way. If you can't reach the person that you know that you did that, what you was revealed to you, if you can't reach the person, you know, it's good to release that from your energy in order for you to clean up your karma as you go. So I'm not trying to get too much into that. But I will be putting that in uh, some of the mindful videos for the 90 day journey because I, I believe that's, you know, the way I'll be going with that. But with this new romance that's coming in, this feels like um, some of you may be dealing with um, someone who is in agreement with you on a soul level. It really feels like it because it's crossing this light worker card. And I am very aware that many of you here at the House of Oshun are light workers. You're in you're the intuitive community. Thank you. Tribe. Yes. So what I'm saying here is that, you know, expect romance this week, okay? And don't we all need a little romance? I probably won't get none, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to do. Look at that. Bright new beginning, focus on something outside of yourself, something bigger than you, joy, um, feeling, you know, um, this is high self-esteem, clarity, overall, everything that you embody will be, you will exude in your aura. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you may even be having a, a baby come in here, as well as the combining, you got the cups. I got all the damn cups. So this just feels real good to me when it comes to some of you may even be deciding to move with uh, your significant other. Some of you have a significant other where their children may be moving in and they may be a little older. But overall, I just see where um, when it comes to matters of the heart, whether this is you doing this um, on um within your life on your own or with your partner, I feel like any issues that the two of you may have or you have overall with dating if you're single it feels like you will analyze things for what they are develop a plan moving forward to clear up your karma to clear up the way that you view relationships what effect does um your parents have on the way that you um your expectations in a relationship yes uh, some of you may even be coming out of depression this week if you've been feeling real low I feel like you'll have an epiphany an aha moment that will bring you great joy it also feels like um, you will begin to take your happiness in your hands your you will become more accountable this week many of you will also um, it feels like you will be taking your intuitive practices um, on whatever level because there's so many jobs so many ways of um being using your light working skills to help other people not just you know in this way or that way there's so many ways you just have to find what your niche is right what it is that you inherently have to offer as an individual your unique you some of you may even um realize many of your healing gifts um, when it comes to energy healing or being able to, um, it feels like change the mind or change uh, some of the um, energy surrounding certain people, you're going to begin to see this. It feels like in this week when you are helping someone who, yep, that's that creative spark. I told your ass. Many of you are going to realize some, some things in which way you, like you thought you were going one way with things, but it, it feels like clearly your path is about to change. That's a beautiful, passionate, aha moment, desire here. Um, for those of you who may be um, having any type of physical challenges, it feels as though you will be moving. Um, they are encouraging you here to use your healing ability. Some of you are taking your healing abilities on the road, or it just feels as though you are in a space of mastering your emotions in order to help others. I'm seeing that there may be parties or some type of get together coming up this week that um, you will 
be able to embody the energy surrounding you in order for you to move forward on your path. A lot of encouragement from friends and family um, this week. This could easily be ancestors as well. Some of you may even be purchasing a new car, but I just feel like there is movement this week. There's a lot of positive energy. I don't know what the planets are doing this week, but it just feels like a lot of positive energy. Some of you may be buying a new car this week or having to fix certain things on your car, but it just feels as though in this week, it's important for you to assert yourself moving forward. It is important for you to... Um, once you get that creative spark to really, this is really going to drive you toward where it is that you potentially your end game, pushing you towards your end game, helping you to really self-realization here. I'm also seeing here where um, many of you <clears throat> may be taking a relationship to the next level and it was unexpected or um, it could easily be that, oh shit. Now, this was clean. Some of you may be um, finding out. You will be triumphant by the end of the week. But some of you may be finding out um, about maybe a cancer. I have a lot of cancer, cancerian energy. But you may be finding out something about um a third-party situation with a cancer this week. But at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here as well is that um, the Chariot of Ascension is on. You will be riding the Chariot of Ascension this week. Many of you uh, may have just recently gone through um, a massive um, download, and now you're just coasting on the Merkaba, really uh, taking the information in and, and, and utilizing it the way that um, you see fit, how it lines up with your path. Always remember that no matter how it lines up at this one time, it may change, you know. It depends on... Um, your path and where it is that you are really being led here speaking of downloads now that, that is over with speaking of downloads um that my moon phase um because my fellows i'm finna get real person excuse me but my moon phase um is my female cycle lines up with the new moon Every month, no matter what day that the new moon is coming, I either start the day before the new moon or on the day of the new moon. With this phasing, every month, and sometimes it's even on other times of the month, <clears throat> that I have this download, this cleansing and this renewal, what I need, what I don't need, and just moving forward with my moon phase. And with this last one, it was heavy. It was very, very, this, I think this is the heaviest download I've received this year. I'm unsure. I can't uh, remember because there are certain things that um, I don't remember until I need to remember them. So I guess I didn't need to remember that at this time. But it was very massive. So anytime that you are going through that, always remember to write, okay? I have a lot of restless energy, so I um, will just um, get to the point where there is, I wish I could see this, but there will be so many things that come to mind, so many projects. Like all this year, I've been getting projects, project after project, and I try to do one at a time and sort through things as, as I go. But as you see with this beta version of this 90 days, we'll be working through it. I'm just asking for assistance in, you know, working through um, those things because it's also important for me to build partnerships. And of course, I do a lot of things um, here pro bono, um, as well as I um, I do a lot of things pro bono, and I don't talk about a lot of the things that I do that are pro bono, but I have learned to open my mouth and ask for help. So with this beta version, that's what that's doing, it's helping me to keep me from over analyzing, over processing shit and then never, you know, dropping it. You know what I mean? So that's one way. So that's another uh, thing that you may want to work on. Having someone, a confidant or someone in your tribe to help you process certain things so that you won't be alone on your journey because it can get, um, lonely on the journey when you have all these great ideas and want to express them that's why this is very important as an outlet for me in order uh to uh, receive some feedback from you all because i do i have no problem with constructive criticism it's just the people that just go off on me um and things like that 
And then, you know, I thought I was going through a period with Uranus, but I realized that I was going through a Neptunian period that I go through once a year. And that's where all of um, a lot of that energy um, that was that had me um, looking at things differently or what have you um, was coming from. It wasn't that. I Yeah, I was looking at things different. From a different perspective. But I needed that. Right. Um, because it helped me to check myself. It helped me to um, realign in this uh, stage of where I am in my Venus period. It helped me to realign myself for the things that are coming next. So I needed to go through that. I'm very open to going through some shit. Okay. That's why when people say, um, I bet it's hard for you to date with you being, you know, so intuitive. No, I welcome certain things because at the end of the day, it's the only way that I will be able to um, relate with people in some way or another. It's one of the only ways for me to continue to remember and to remain grounded and humble and full of humility uh, moving forward. Because the last thing that I will want to do is not continue to grow. And if I stop growing, then I can't I can't continue to help. What else? I'm gonna I'm gonna go. What else? It took me all day to do this, but y'all got it. I love y'all. Bye.